Hello friends, this is Father Donovan here at All Saints Episcopal Church in Jacksonville, Florida. And I'd like to invite you to walk with me through the way of the cross during this Holy Week. As we move through these days, we will cover three stations a day until we arrive on Good Friday. And then we'll walk together through the final two stations of the cross and offer the concluding prayers before we gather for our Good Friday liturgy. Please share this with those around you and use this as your way to virtually experience Holy Week here at your church. Please use the link down below to help you uh, get connected with the Way of the Cross as we use through the Book of Occasional Services in the Episcopal Church and join me as we begin now. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We will glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom is our salvation, our life, and resurrection. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with your help, O Lord God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts whereby you have given us life and immortality. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me at the first station of the cross. This is the first station. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests with the elders and scribes and the whole council held a consultation and they bound Jesus and led him away and delivered him to Pilate. And they all condemned him and said, he deserves to die. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus out and sat down on the judgment seat at a place called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabbatha. Then he handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. God did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain and entered not into glory before he was crucified. Mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Join me now in the Trisagion hymn as we walk to the second station. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. The second station. Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus went out bearing his own cross to the place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew Golgotha. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. Like a lamb he was led to slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shears is mute, so he opened not his mouth. Worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose beloved Son willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross for our redemption, 
Give us courage to take up our cross and follow him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became, became obedient unto death, even death on the cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is the Lord our God. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Let us pray. O God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers that by reason of the frailty of our nature we cannot always stand upright. Grant us such strength and protection as may, be, as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Join me tomorrow for the next three stations of the Way of the Cross.